Hey, content creator. Oh, I think my connection is a bit. What's going on with my connection? Today is day. Today is day 35 of my uh, daily tips for your content and context marketing. Today's tip, and really, it's just a, a topic. It's a question, and is it are they the same or are they different? That's content marketing versus social media marketing. And I think that word, that term content marketing, quote unquote, is to a lot of people is that that term is actually fairly new, but it, in fact, it's a bit, it's been around for, I don't know, hundreds of years. And like, what is that compared to social media marketing? Well, they are a bit separate, yet they do overlap quite a bit. When you're thinking about content marketing and writing your content, what you're really doing is utilizing the ability to to create your own content or your own original content to be able to give value to your audience and versus with social media you're utilizing platforms like what, what we're using right now which is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and really the idea of using social media platforms for a lot of people is to promote themselves maybe put up a quick ad or put up an ad ad whereas with content marketing it's more of like I'd like to think of it as more of kind of your home in a way like sending people to your blog that's content that you own that's content that's come from you whether it's in a written post whether it is a video whether it's a podcast or an audio it's something that you own so if if come tomorrow none of the social media platforms are available for you or the algorithms change which they do all the time well you still have your content so, you know, Facebook or Instagram goes away tomorrow, what are you going to do? Um, and so a lot of that is, a lot of the core of who, the legacy that you want to create is going to be in your content marketing and in your content. Because think about it too, because even if you do throw up an ad, let's say, you still need content for your ad. And to create content for your ad, you need the context around it, which is really the understanding of the intention of why you're doing it. Um, the ad and um, your expected outcome and when you're thinking of content marketing as a whole it's really you know why are you creating that and how how is that content aligning with your uh, your business goal and how can you provide that value to the people that you're talking to anyways hope you guys have a good day I actually have a, a blog post written about it on my blog um, I'll put the link in here, but it's on courageouslyfree.com forward slash blog if, if you want to look for it. But I will put the link here of a few of the posts about content marketing, and I will see you guys tomorrow on day 36. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Bye.